All right, breaking news. Uh, C.J. Anderson uh, gets released by the Detroit Lions. One of my subs hit me up and told me about it. They pick up Paul Perkins from the New York Giants off of waivers. Let's talk about it. We back. More to Sports Talk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Still a little bit under the weather. Trying to grind through it real quick. But, uh, yeah, um, C.J. Anderson got released. He really wasn't, uh, you know, doing good. But I think, you know, two weeks, you know what I'm saying, I don't know if it was the altercation that happened at a, a football game or whatever game it was where it was reported that he got into altercation before he signed with the Lions and that whole situation was bad publicity and, and them just, you know, uh, linking his that little small incident that happened with him not being productive and getting rid of him. You know, we thinking Jamal Agnew going to get cut and we lose Josh Johnson today and Anderson. And CJ Anderson looked like Peasy, <laughs> uh, Detroit rapper though, but uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Should be more carries for carry on, but I also think what pushed him off the edge too with getting rid of CJ Anderson was how good Tyler Johnson impressed, and he looked really, really good the other day. But remember, he is a rookie, but at the end of the day, nobody wants CJ Anderson. The Rams didn't want him back. They didn't want to pay him to get back. They felt good about the Malcolm Brown guy, the real. Uh, Hendrick was it uh, the Darrell kid from Memphis, and you know what I'm saying. So we'll see. I don't know if he can help somebody. He should get picked up before Alfred Morris get picked up. But um, Paul Perkins, he averaged like 3.6 yards a carry. This is his third season in NFL, UCLA. Um, he had a few couple hundred yards receiving throughout his career, but I don't think he nothing significant. I just think when it boils down to with the line is cheaper. You know, Anderson, he ain't really did what they thought he was gonna do, and his and the rest of his money probably wasn't guaranteed. So they went home and got rid of him. And got a cheaper commodity. So always cheaper uh, to be cheap with the Lions. Alright. And Anderson ain't no, no suspect from getting cut. Been cut from a few teams. So I don't know what's next for him. But whatever running back comes to Detroit. You know what I'm saying. Maybe LeGarrette Blunt and Anderson coming off a nice little run. And they just don't run good behind with the Detroit Lions. And I don't know if it's the line or whatever it is. He's looked way more explosive with the Rams. You know but. You know, welcome Paul Perkins to the Lions, but like I said before, they didn't get a guy a chance. He must have like a bonus coming up or something like that. You know, he really didn't even get a chance. And I'm just saying, carry on wasn't that productive in week one. Then he cranked it up week two. Anderson might be productive going into week three. You never know. You got to give these dudes an opportunity, and he didn't get a real opportunity. Like I said before, the disciplinary thing that happened before he signed here, that probably played a major role. Martha Ford won't choir boys. This ain't Al Davis. This ain't the Dallas Cowboys. Ever since we had them slew of arrest or or run-ins with the law a few years ago, I think Jim Carl, Jim Source was the coach. Martha won't, you know, and the Fords won't church choir boys. You can't win with just church choir boys. You need a little nutty uh, nutty buddy uh, head, loose in the head, Antonio Brown or Odell Beckham or you need a Vontez Burfick or Ro Bill Romanowski or Richie Incognito. You not necessarily the nasty or, 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 or the crazy stuff that they done the league, but you need a guy that's nasty, that got a dog, that's that's that, that's angry and that's played with rage. You need those type of guys that build a foundation of a team. A team should be built off tough guys. You know what I'm saying? Quarterback tough here in Detroit, we know that. We see, you know, Stafford uh, take all them hits early on. He ain't fold. We've seen Cam folding. We've seen Andrew Luck folding. You know, a lot of quarterbacks wouldn't have weathered the storm that Stafford has here. But, hey, welcome, Paul Perkins. Hopefully, you contribute. See you later, PZ, a.k.a. CJ Anderson. I'll link the article in the description. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests, don't forget to check my other channel, Wild Goodfellas Sports TV, for more music, entertainment, sports. It's a dope channel, so check it out. And go hit the subscribe button, bell icon, bell over there. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. We are gone.